reason why we're out and about is because we're going to go support our friend Terry at, from Ipso Facto for their, I believe it's the 30 year anniversary of her boutique. That's amazing, right? That's crazy. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Yeah, it's been a while. So I remember going there, wow, well, before I even got to know her as a friend um, in high school about that time. <laughs> I know I'm dating myself, but it was like, I used to go there, I used to love going to look at all the goth, like jewelry and like the clothing and so cool. I don't know. I was like intimidated by her a little bit, Cause she, but she's so cool. Like Exactly, but we'll continue the stream. And... It's on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the information's on our Instagram. You guys want to come by and say hi if you're nearby. Yeah, it's totally free. <laughs> you can hang out and you can join in on all the fun activities. There'll be giveaways too. We're gonna have giveaways. I think she's gonna give away some of like the clothing that she has there, but I'm not sure. But I, we can go live when we're there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna go have dinner now. Um, how's everybody doing on this Sunday afternoon? Yeah. Sunday evening. It's super bright right now over here in Southern California. I know because the sun is on the opposite side. It's getting ready to set, you know, and with all this, you know, time change and all that stuff. I know. It gets so dark so freaking soon. At 4 p.m. it's already, like, dark. Right? It starts, dark, like, go, sun setting and I'm pretty sure, like, by 5 it's already super dark. And I'm like, ah, time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, what have you guys been doing? Anything new? We've been, like, deciding whether to go back to Queen Mary or not after that video we posted. Oh, I know. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to go back and see if we can catch that shadow. Again. I don't know if anybody uh, watched it or whatever, but, you know, watching it, like, so slow, you know, I mean, we were there. We, we actually saw some, you know, like, the, the shadow itself, but it was so fast that we slowed it down for you guys so you can actually, you know, take a look and see what it actually looks like in slow-mo. Well, it just looked weird. Like, it looked like a, like something like dirty, like a dirty rag. It kind of looked like a dirty rag way, went like in front of the camera. It was really weird. Mm -hmm. It looked like, like, a, like something like shabby or like, like torn up or whatever. It's so strange. But um, we were like, oh my god, what is that? A lot of people have like opinions and they say that we actually did catch something like paranormal, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like a camcorder um, and had like the little battery and then the lens kind of has like a little switch mode. And so it, the, the iris opens up and closes, it's already attached to it. There's no lens cap. So what it is is you just, uh, switch it on and switch it off, uh, you know, or switch it closed and so switch it open. So it wasn't the lens cap that was right. it was one of us running in front of the camera or anything like that because as you can, you'll be able to see like 
from the video i was behind the girls and i was like recording them recording the pool area so you can see what happens like in the background and i'm glad i did that i'm glad we recorded that part because that way you can see what diana's doing when she's recording when she catches that shadow yeah, and um, what I did with my hand was I actually put the video camera closer to the to the window because the you glass, know I know you yeah, know the glass door. Um, because you see kind of like a glare or whatever, so you can see it better. You actually press it up on like glass. You but know, that makes you, sense. You avoid the reflection, right? You would. So we're here, we're in Fullerton, we're getting close to the, the location. Man, Costco's packed, everybody's trying to get cheaper gas, because oh that gas prices went up, you guys, in, in, or in Southern California, it's like over $4 a gallon. It's freaking like, oh look, this place has it for three eighty-five, which is very weird. Haunted and stuff, um, that general area, and, um, uh, supposedly there were, you know, some children and some, um... Well, isn't that the, what, the girl that we caught at the Ipso Facto? Yeah, the you little girl. You guys should check out those three videos. They're really good. It's like a very detailed investigation of the place we're going to after the restaurant. Terry's, um, Terry's the owner and she told us, uh, that, uh, cause we, well, the way we met her is that we started selling jewelry there. And we started making like bats and stuff. You know, we have a laser and, it, and we make jewelry. And so she's like, oh, that's really cute. So we started selling it there at her boutique. And then she's like, oh, by the way, um, you know, I think it's haunted here. And then we're like, oh, really? We have to her boutique. So she said that she thought there was a little girl there. Remember we took the teddy bear? We took uh, the para bear. Oh yeah, we yeah we had a lot of stuff happen with the para bear. Yeah, and it would light up, and then it would stop. You know, when we would ask or whatever questions, it was so crazy. And like it seemed like somebody was playing with them when we weren't even in the room, when we were in the back room investigating. So I'm gonna see. Don't go so fast. Don't like get him dizzy. <laughs> I know. Go slow. So there's like a lot of restaurants, a lot of, um, you know, shops. antique shops. Um, yeah, we should investigate some of these antique vintage shops. Vintage shops. I don't know if they would let us. Why not? They, we went to the orange one. Oh, wow. Well, stay tuned, guys. We are going to be headed to the restaurant. And we're going to put you on pause. And we'll, we'll, we'll see you there. Back. Here's the actual restaurant, you guys. Like the balcony, that's cute too. Let us know if you see any ghosts showing up in the balcony, I'm maybe. One part. Oh. Yeah. There's actually like a like a dungeon or something that goes downstairs. Okay, stay tuned, guys. No, I didn't. No, it's so creepy. No, no, it's cool. That way you can get it when you're there by yourself. See if you catch anything. Oh. Hold on, let me just go back, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, I just got double dared. I lost Wi Fi down there. Yeah. It's supposed to be on Wi-Fi though. I know, but I lost connectivity. Okay, stay. Go ahead. Okay. Gentlemen, please remain seated. Please remain seated. Please remain seated. So we're out of the restaurant. We're so full. Oh my God.
We're in downtown Fullerton. That's the outside of the restaurant. It was so good. They have been upstairs and then there's like a wedding party or whatever in the back. So it's kind of like see the full moon. It's very like old and full of history here. Where the heck is my sister? So creepy. Yeah. It's so cute. And haunted. Look at the moon. I know, I was just Perfect. I'm just saying that. It's really nice. Let's drop off the food and then we'll go walk around. Oh, it's nice and cool out here. It's kinda stuffy in there. Yeah. I don't know. When is it going to be fall, guys? I have no idea when. I don't know, but I need to start wearing my, my fake furs and my fake leather. <laughs> <laughs> I should just my leave jackets. my purse in here, huh? Yeah. My jackets. My boots. It's really cute. Are we going to need the lipstick? that way. Okay. You're going to bring your jacket with you? Yeah, I'm going to bring my jacket and then take the lipstick with me. Okay. That way? What? Yeah, let's go that way. Why? When the dress room's over here, let's record the dress Okay. Room. Give me your jacket. Just no. leave the jacket, because that's like... But I'm already cold. Let me get my it's lipstick. Freaking, it's it's <clears throat> cooler, but it's not like cold. Hold on. I'm trying to get my lipstick? <laughs> the, the, the restaurant, not the parking lot. <laughs> It's so cute. I like it. I like it upstairs. They were having a wedding in one of the one of the salons. Okay. So they say this is haunted. They say the restaurant is haunted, but we don't know. We don't know why it's haunted yet. So we're gonna do more like research about it on it i think because of the flood dude it was like so? in this and general then area so it's right across the street from it. yeah seriously so let's take a walk around and see what we can find over here see all of the old homes <clears throat> Look, you can take takeout pizza right here. It's right. It's part of the restaurant, and you can just come in and get pizza because it's so good. Yeah. We didn't have the pizza this time. We wanted to try the pasta. I couldn't even finish it because it was a lot of food, and we even shared it. So it's it's a lot of poor, like big portions. It so was that's a good thing. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a lot of food. So just expect to, um, you know. To eat a lot. So they said that they just want to take it. I'm gonna do a quick Let's do a quick EVP, yeah. We didn't bring our spirit box because now we're like back to the old school way. Yeah. Just with our recorder, right? And plus, you know. Yeah, so hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that here. So we can take the picture here. Hold on a second. You can go around if you want. For now. So they have like different rooms and banquet halls and stuff. You can actually do like a um like a wedding or bar mitzvah or whatever. You enter through the side door. But yeah, ipso facto is like right across the street. They say that the um, there's like this riverbed that's like right right in between there. They actually um, actually found like a little girl or 
and a man that was like passed away because of the flood. They don't know that, you know, the name of the little girl, but we think it might be uh, Abigail. And I'm Carmelita. We understand that there was some kind of tragedy here. Can you tell us what it was? Why do people say this place is haunted? because of the basement where people say that they hear noises and see monsters or scary people down there. This is a very old restaurant. Is it because it's really old and then there was a flood here and people died? That was someone in the background. We have a lot of cars in the background. It's gonna be hard, but there's some uh, little little bits of time where there was no noise. So we're gonna be checking to see if we hear any EVPs. Stay tuned. Thank you for talking to us. Please stay here. Follow us. It's like really quiet right here. Yeah. Let's take a walk around in the front. Did you go to the front of the restaurant? I didn't go all the way into the front. You didn't? Well, let's go. Let's go to. The let's front. go around that way because the Fox Theater is over there. I think. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look, you can see the sign. It's actually right up there, Fox Theater. They say that that's really haunted, but you have to get like a ticket. It's still like an active theater. <laughs> Gonna take a walk around and see what we can find. It's, it's pretty active here with lots of people, so it's gonna be very hard. to do any kind of EVP session.
can see the sign up there. Yeah. Over there, look. Oh, yeah. that down there oh look is that a way to get to the front no. i think so yeah kind of like a little rough down no I don't think there's any exit. Oh, there, there's a door over there. Okay. Emergency exit only. Oh. Yeah, let's go around. Okay, well, we have to turn around then. This is the restaurant. I mean, the uh, cafe. cafe it looks healthy. No, it smells so good. <laughs> it looks very healthy here. It was kind of nice to walk around and see what was there. Yeah, the Fox Theater <coughs> is said to be haunted too. Yeah. It's really haunted. <laughs> and it just happens to be across the street also from that place that I said. Well, the, actually, the Fullerton Ghost Hunt, like walking to the stop at the Fox Yeah. And it's near the actual, um, like we're close to the, uh, the school. Look, I think there's like a tea house over there across the way. Yeah, there it is. You want to cross the street or do you want to walk that way? Or do you want to go across the street and then yeah. get it from there? Okay. Yeah, we're going to cross the street, you guys. There's people that it's so fast already. Look. Oh, nice. Woo! They're waiting for the party. Party. Dressed in black. Should we find a parking over there? Or should, yeah, we probably should, huh? So after we do the Fox Theater thing, we should go no, I think we should just uh, stay there and then just, because they're open till 9. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're going to um, stay in the parking lot and we're headed over. That's the tea garden place that Diana wanted to go to. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to cross. Hopefully they don't kill us. so weird going down the crosswalk because I never like walk around. <laughs> so they have like a tea house over there. Over there. So cute there. You want to take a look? Let's go look. Looks like they do like tea parties and stuff here. <laughs> Looks like she's going to take a picture of us. you guys we should make our way over to it so oh where's the fox theater you got right there look we're across the street from the fox theater 
Um, I think they have like performances. They still do that. I don't think there's an entrance that goes through there though. I don't think it's open right now, is it? Yeah, it's right by the... You know what? We should come here like at 3 a.m. Oh my god. And do like... And there's like nobody here? Yeah, an EVP right in front of it. See mm -hmm. if we catch anything. Because so far it's, it's just like restaurants right here in the corner and antique malls. Stuff like that. You gotta watch out where you're going know, around here. Remember. Yeah. Those people are not very nice. Like a little restaurant. See right here, look. Oh, that looks creepy up there. Hacienda or something. Oh, look, they have weird, creepy stairs up there. Oh, I want to go in there. Oh. Ooh, looks creepy. Okay. Oh, look at this door. I wonder if these are the original doors. anybody in there? No, there's like... This looks like the, the frosted glass that we have we on our have window. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you door. can see anything. We can't. No, it's fr too frosted. Oh, look, look. There's some kind of... Oh, it's all messed up inside. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it's closed. Yeah, it it's is closed, closed for right now, but I saw on the website that they had some kind of show or something happening. Oh, look how creepy that looks. No. Oh. Such an old place. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I could investigate that. Soon in the future, hopefully. Okay, guys. chicken or something like that. I'm gonna have to check it out. 1925. That's probably what it used to look like on the inside. Oh. It's too 
Yeah. We definitely have to come here really late at night. Oh, look, it continues over here. Oh, this is the other side of that creepy hallway. You can hear the music over here. It's locked. People are getting their groove on in there. <laughs> I know, I was just saying that. <laughs> They're grooving over there. Look, we're gonna be going over there. Ipso facto. Yeah. You can cross right here, but. It's kind of dangerous. Get killed. Yeah. Just try it. <laughs> Do it! Okay, hurry up. Let's do it, let's do it. Here comes a big bus. Hurry up, come on. Hello again. Hello. Hi. Is Terry here? Okay, so we're at Ipso Facto. They're having their 30th anniversary here. And Terry is the owner. Is really cool. They sell clothing, jewelry, they sell all kinds of cool stuff. They have purses, and right now they're gonna have a celebration. It's gonna be totally fun. It's gonna have they're gonna have a concert, they're gonna have giveaways at 6 p.m. If you guys wanna come by and check it out. There's people here waiting, and we're totally excited because we love to support other small businesses like ourselves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so if you wanna See if Terry's there. Is there already in there? Let's see. Oh, I see her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. This being a haunted location. So if you guys want to come by and feel it for yourself, come check out the clothing, the jewelry. Come check out the jewelry. It's really cool. Right here. And then we have Carl Young, who's going to be doing psychic reading. So come on by. See? It's going to be a good deal. That's a very special deal because usually... He charges way more than five dollars per reading, and he's really good at it. So we're excited. Um, I think I believe the concert's gonna start around six p.m. So come on by. Okay, we'll be here if you guys wanna meet us. Yes. Bye.